In this new series of videos, we are going to go through the main digital manufacturing technologies and try to give you guidance on how to use them. Thanks to digitalization, I have plenty of time for myself. We have developed quite a good understanding of how digital manufacturing might improve our production sites. And it's all at your fingertips. Eliminating operational inefficiencies is one of the key goals for modern organizations. Most of them deal with two worlds. There is the automation world composed of machines, electromechanical devices, manufacturing systems and other industrial equipment. Then there is an IT world, using servers, data storage, networking and other devices, which are used to run applications and to process data. These two worlds have largely occupied separate domains, shared little meaningful data or control, and relied on oversight from business staff with distinctly different skill sets. So, what's the topic for today? Today, the world of IT and OT are converging. Advances in technology such as the Internet of Things and big data analytics are systematically allowing the IT world to see, understand, and influence the operational world. When implemented properly, IT-OT convergence can merge business processes, insights, and controls into a single uniform environment. So, I know it sounds complicated, but basically, it's all about blending. So we have IT, which are digital things, like servers, networking, and databases. On the other hand, we have OT. This is classic industrial world, mainly manufacturing systems and machines. These two were always separated by a visible line, but now we've actually reached a moment when they finally started to converge, which means mix. And that blend has turned out to be a real killer in eliminating operational inefficiencies. Cheers! With modern automation equipment, you can connect any type of machine to an IT system, starting with small and simple up to really complex ones in any configuration imaginable. This creates tremendous opportunities, at the same time reducing the complexity of networking. All in all, when we try to look into the future, we don't see the traditional pyramid of connections anymore. We see a mesh of intelligent devices talking to each other. And mostly, this is what the IT-OT convergence is all about.